We took on a challenge from Vidu to create the best AI trailer ever made in just 48 hours by a single person. If you want to see the full trailer, click here, then come back to this video. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it so you can do it too. Let's go. Every film project starts with an idea. When developing a concept, it's smart to think about what constraints, advantages, and disadvantages you have, and then design your concept around that. We love sci-fi thrillers, and the mystery element lends itself perfectly to the limitations of AI video generators, but it's also exciting enough to allow for amazing visuals and the benefits of what AI filmmaking can achieve that you simply couldn't do on a no-budget project with a single person in 48 hours. The concept is called Mandela. It's about a secretive group that utilizes a mysterious machine to alter our timeline, leaving only memories of how things were in its aftermath. Once I had the concept nailed down, it was time to develop the look of the film. Look dev, or developing the look and visual style of your film, is especially important with AI filmmaking to make your shots all seem part of one coherent film. I knew I wanted to go for the sort of sci-fi realism you might see in a Christopher Nolan or Denis Villeneuve film, but we also have our own signature style I wanted to bring to the piece. A great way to do this step is to just look for inspiration. Create mood boards on places like Pinterest that have imagery or influences similar to some of the aspects you'd want in your project. Mixing all these influences together, combined with your own lifelong inspirations and personal style, is how you can arrive at the look. The look here was gritty, realistic, and lived in, but also surreal because the timeline is different from our own, making you wonder just how many changes the machine has done to this reality to get it to this point. There's also the surreal influence of the machine itself, its mysterious origins, and what its effect on altering the reality in real time may look like visually. Once I had the concept and the look, it was time to create the dialogue. Dialogue for AI films is typically broken into two sections, creating what's going to be said, or the script, and generating what's going to be said, or the audio. Since I already had a crystal clear idea of the story, enough to make an entire feature length movie in fact, I already knew the aspects of the concept the audience would have to understand to get an idea of what this film was about, without giving too much away and spoiling the film in the process. The dialogue centered around what the characters know about the machine to explain some of the mechanics of the movie, as well as what the differing motivations of some of the characters might be, including characters on the same side. These were things like explaining some of the machine's limits, as well as the seemingly overwhelming obstacles the main characters would have to overcome to win. From there, it was time to generate the actual audio of the dialogue being spoken. Most people think AI filmmaking is really hands-off, but if you want to make great stuff, it's exactly the opposite. Every single line in the trailer was actually recorded by me and then replicated by AI just the way I said it initially, only in all the different voices of the characters. To do this, I used a platform called Eleven Labs, which is an AI voice generator. They have a tool called Speech to Speech. Just select it, press record audio, hit record, and say the line just as you want it to be said. Then press the stop button and you can play it back to preview it. Next, select the voice you want to use for the character and click generate speech. It will instantly create high quality audio that you can download with the click of a button. You can also keep clicking generate speech until you get a take you like, adjust the settings to get the style you want, or re-record your driving audio. Once I had all the dialogue generated and downloaded, it was time to start generating the video. You can use any video generation tool you want, but if you're just getting started and you want to generate videos without breaking the bank, check out Vidu, our sponsor for this video. Vidu is a brand new AI video generator that we got early access to that can do both text to video and image to video. It also has an enhanced prompt feature that will automatically elaborate on your prompts for you when you have it turned on, an inspire me button that you can click to get infinite new prompt ideas, and even the ability to easily upscale your videos built right in. It's great, especially for things like anime, which we typically don't see done well with AI video generators and it even has a feature we've never seen with video, character reference, which lets you upload an image to get consistent characters in different videos you create. They have a free plan so you can get started now, and they also have paid plans if you need more generations for your projects like we do, so click the link in the description to try it out. Once you're in your AI video generator, there are typically two main ways of generating video for your films at the moment, and I use both of them, text to video and image to video. Text to video means you enter a text prompt, and it uses that prompt to generate a video clip. This takes skill to get consistent styles in the clips you want, so the more generations you do, the more great clips you'll have to select from for your final edit. Image to video lets you upload an image, and it then uses that image as the first frame in a video clip. For this, you can use a tool like Midjourney to generate your image first. Here's an image I created in Midjourney of an experimental armored vehicle in the film. I then uploaded this to the AI video generator and got these incredible clips. Once you have enough clips generated, it's time to start your edit. For trailers, our favorite style of editing is music-based editing. You pick music tracks or create some, and then design the layout of the trailer around that. 
This trailer is made up of three sections. The first section is designed to grab your attention, so I started it off with brands to add intensity and set the tone. The next section is designed for a bit of exposition. We need to explain to the audience a little about what's going on, so I use one of the tracks from our Octave Cinematic Music Packs, Conspiracy, to serve as a sort of underscore while I'll have the character say more of the explanatory dialogue. The final section is the build. This is where we introduce even more of the conflict and tease at what might be in the full film. For this section, I use one of our other tracks from our Octave Cinematic Music Volume 3 pack called Chaos Theory. This is the perfect mix of tension building underscore and big dramatic hits. Then the dialogue was added in the best way to reveal the story elements between the big cinematic hits. When the visuals are added for a trailer, it's sort of like putting together a puzzle. Once you have the music layout and the dialogue where it needs to go, then you can just put in the rest of the shots wherever they work best. This all comes down to taste and your skill as an editor. AI video generation isn't perfect yet, so selecting the best parts of your clips is crucial. But once you have them where you want them, you should have something you really like. Here's a short clip from Mandela. This machine is dangerous. What does it do? I'm not exactly sure. That's what makes it dangerous. It rewrites reality. Your memories remain, but there's no other trace that things were ever changed. To see the full trailer, click here. And if you want to start creating your own AI trailers and films right now for free, check out Vidu. It's really excellent at anime as well, which we don't usually see with AI video generators. So if you want to try it out for yourself, click the link in the description, and we'll see you in the next one.